Hi guys and happy first start to summer 2019. Today I thought I would share five and maybe like one extra bonus um, different hobbies that you can teach yourself um, over the summer that are pretty affordable and that you can totally do like on your own. You don't have to sign up for like expensive workshops or classes to kind of learn a new skill or new fun thing to try over the summer. Um, these are perfect for whether you are um, like a student between breaks and kind of have this whole summer to do whatever you want to and you're like, hmm, how am I gonna like break up the next couple of months? Or if you are a full-time working professional and you just kind of want to do a little something in the summer as a hobby. Um, so yeah, all of these things you can totally do from home and have a pretty low cost threshold to start. So the first um, hobby to pick up over the summer, and this is not gonna come as a surprise with some of my other videos, um, is yoga. Um, I, it's uh, the perfect kind of like exercise fitness thing to kind of get excited for summer, but it's totally, you're able to do without really buying anything. You don't even have to buy like a yoga mat and there's a ton of amazing resources on YouTube, online, video um, workouts of it. You can even just look up poses and practice poses in your room. So it's a great way to kind of start a new hobby for really low cost. Um, but if you do want to spend a little money doing it, you can buy like a yoga mat, some blocks. You can make it like as fancy or as low key as you want. Um, even if you're like not a yoga person, there's a lot of great resources for body weight type workouts um, or like Pilates, things like that. Or um, even just like le doing, learning how to do some new stretches or meditation or something like that for kind of like a fitness related hobby would be a great thing kind of to kick off in the summer and who knows it might start kind of a new routine for you. So my next hobby recommendation and it's something that I have personally just started doing this summer and that's learning calligraphy or like handwriting, that kind of thing. Um, it's always something that I wanted to do um, and I like to like doodle and draw around with pens but I was like, I. I think I need to buy like the real calligraphy brush pens and kind of actually try to do this thing. Um, and it's another really like inexpensive hobby to learn um, because you can just buy a couple of those brush pens at an art store for a few dollars and like a pack of paper and just start practicing. And there again, there are a lot of video tutorials and resources to actually learn the different strokes of calligraphy and kind of how to do handwriting. But it also is something that you can kind of just mess around with and have fun. Um, again, I'll link down kind of like my favorites and like the, um, the video tutorials that I've been following to try to learn uh, calligraphy. It's much harder than it looks, even when you buy the special pens, but um, it's really fun and I think it'll be great to like jazz up some of my handwriting and my planners or um, for cards, for letters, that kind of thing. The next hobby suggestion, which might seem weird going into the summer with a lot of warmer weather, but um, knitting. So I tried knitting last year. I bought a just a kit and I'll, I'll link that kind of stuff down below. Um, and it again was much harder than I thought it would be. Um, but it was like really rewarding when I like finished. I made a scarf and when I had finished knitting it, I was like, oh my gosh, I made this. Um, and so why I'm suggesting it in summer, again, it's something you can do from home. Um, you can do it in air conditioning at home if it's too hot outside and you're like, I don't have a pool or a beach that I'm going to today and I just want something indoors, it's the perfect thing to do inside or for like a nice relaxing evening after you first mastered a couple of the knits because th that first night was like, I was almost in tears. I'm like, I'm just not getting this. Um, but after you get it, it is very relaxing, perfect for like a movie night or for like a Netflix marathon. Um, and then hopefully if you start in the summer, by the time that it's fall or winter, you would have made your scarf or your blanket or your new sweater. Um, I definitely suggest doing like a scarf first because it's, you don't have to worry about like 
armholes and that kind of thing. You just make something like straight. Um, I think this summer I'm going to get a kit for a blanket. So then by the time fall and winter rolls around, I'll have like a full sized uh, blanket to cuddle up in. So knitting might not sound like a great summer hobby, but perfect to start out in the summer so that you'll have a finished product when the weathers do cool down. My fourth hobby to test out um, is gardening. So I just moved into a new apartment that has a ton of beautiful natural light and I kind of went crazy with buying house plants. Um, I had a few before with me in my tiny basement apartment and they did survive and I brought them all the way on this road trip to this new apartment. Um, and then when I got here, I just started buying more and more and more plants and I've really been loving it. I love like the weekly session of like, oh, it's like watering day or um, looking up which type of plant I bought and what sunlight and watering schedule it needs. And um, this is even something that you don't have to do with house plants, starting a garden in your yard, um, depending on what zone and what gardening, um, what area you're in. You might have to like see what your growing season is for certain vegetables, but you can always grow things indoors depending on your lighting situation. Um, so yeah, even if you just buy like a new succulent and start watering it, um, it's kind of a fun hobby to have in the summer, especially because then you're less likely to kill it because even when I was living in my Brooklyn basement apartment, I would get sunlight in the summer. And so then you feel like you're being like a good plant mama. Um, so definitely something to try in the summer and maybe like get your green thumb in check so that you'll keep it alive in fall and winter. But I would highly recommend getting a couple house plants and try your hand at gardening. My fifth hobby to try out this summer is reading. Um, whether you are someone who like reads a lot of books or you're like, I have not read a book since like middle school or high school, uh, summertime reading is always like super fun. I would say that I always like anticipate reading a lot more books over the summer and sometimes that doesn't happen. Um, but it can be something kind of to like get into in the summer. There's always like a lot of good like beach reads, easy reads. Um, if you are someone that's just starting out with reading, I suggest uh, checking out thrillers. I feel like they're usually like easy to follow um, with a lot of like fun twists and turns and plot twists so that you'll kind of, you'll finish a thriller really fast. And you're like, yeah, I'm really into this reading thing. I'm gonna keep going. Um, and this is a hobby that can be completely free if you go to the library and that can be a fun summer routine to like reserve your books online and then like take a nice walk to your local library and pick them up and keep kind of that cycle all summer. Another really affordable way to get into the habit of reading is through book of the month. Um, and I've shared that a few times before. I love book of the month. They always have really great, um, book selection that are really like new releases that you'll see like in a bookstore and you're like oh these books look so good and they'll be on book of the month and you'll get them for a fraction of the price sometimes you'll get them earlier than their release date so they'll be exclusives um and then they're just delivered to your door um and then they also they tend to have a lot of thrillers so if you are someone new to reading um it's a really great way to kind of like get the ball rolling on that. Um, but yeah, I feel like they always have a really great selection and yeah, I really love book of the month for getting back into the reading habit. So those were my five hobbies to try out this summer. And as a kind of sixth bonus hobby that kind of ties into having all the other hobbies, is starting a blog or an Instagram or a YouTube. Um, and that can be something that where you're like documenting your hobby, whether you're showing the growth you've made in your calligraphy um, or you're sharing your like knitting journey or if you become a bookstagrammer where you're showing what you're reading. I feel like having kind of a YouTube or social media um, platform kind of to share this new hobby would be another hobby in and of itself, learning how to like take the photographs, um, how to video edit. Um, and these are definitely something that I'm trying to do over the summer and learn more techniques about um, videography, photography, and like social media posting. So there you have it, actually six hobbies to try out this summer. Uh, let me know what hobbies that you're trying to start this summer and 
yeah, I'll see you next time.